Season 4 of You moves us to London with a whole bunch of new faces. Right now, we'll tell you all about them and about the characters we already know and love. <laughs> we are all having fun. Capital F U. See what Tati Gabrielle has to say about her character's growth. Find out what helped Ed Spilliers bond with the lead actor, and why fatherhood made it harder for Penn Badgley to play Joe. Let's begin. Tati Gabrielle as Marianne Bellamy When she joined the cast for season 3, the actress was thrilled. That's because she's always been a fan. And when she learned more about her character, she completely fell for her. I really love that Marianne is a fighting mom, yeah, uh -huh. and she's, she's championing herself as well as her child. This season, Tati loved seeing Marianne's growth really get a chance to tackle some some demons that that she i think previously was not had not had not fully reconciled with the actress has always wanted marion to find happiness after everything she's been through well we're also hoping for a happy ending for her in part two despite the fact that we've already seen what usually happens to joe's love interests Meanwhile, Gabrielle's career is on the rise. Most recently, you could hear her in the High series Kaleidoscope and in Uncharted, where she played a villain. Probably because of her busy schedule, the actress isn't dating anyone right now. In the past, though, Tati was linked to her chilling Adventures of Sabrina co-star, Chance Perdomo. Seeing their fantastic chemistry, fans assumed that something was going on between them, but neither of the actors ever confirmed it and only commented that they were close friends. Now let's talk about the new characters of the show. Charlotte Ritchie as Kate For the actress behind this icy lady, it wasn't an easy role. In fact, Ritchie stated that she hasn't played such a difficult part for a long time. She's a completely different person to her character. The actress even said that if someone suggested that her personality is similar to Kate's, she'd be insulted. And she added that fans shouldn't look for romance in Kate's relationship with Joe. It's not romantic. It's actually just like really, really horrible and toxic, she explained. Well, she's certainly right. If you're wondering where you've seen Charlotte before, here are some of her previous projects. She's best known for her roles in the British sitcom Ghosts and the BBC drama Call the Midwife. When it comes to her personal life, Richie doesn't share much, but there was a rumor that she dated her feel-good co-star, non-binary actor Mae Martin. But it's never been confirmed. As of now, Charlotte seems to be single. Now let's talk about her on-screen best friend, Tilly Keeper as Lady Phoebe. According to the actress, this character is like a ray of sunshine among the others. The light comedy amongst all this kind of bleak storyline was really fun for me. And she portrayed that brilliantly, didn't she? Tilly Keeper rose to fame due to her role in the soap opera EastEnders. The actress was a regular cast member there and appeared in nearly 400 episodes. A few years ago, rumors sparked about Tilly dating her co-star from the series, Shaheen Jafargali. It happened after she posted a cute photo of the two of them cuddling up. But the actress later denied that they were in a relationship and commented that it was just a pic of two best friends. In fact, Shaheen is dating another actress from you, and we'll talk about it later. Now it's time to find out more about Lady Phoebe's on-screen boyfriend, Lucas Gage as Adam Pratt. Previously, you could see this actor in The White Lotus and Euphoria, and now he plays a flashy playboy in you. Although his character is kind of a rival to Joe in the series, Gage feels completely differently about his co-star Penn Badgley in real life. Penn is the most thoughtful, kind, amazing lead of the show. The actors became friends on the set, and Lucas knows that things don't end well for whoever gets close to Joe, but he doesn't mind. <laughs> but put me in the cage, Penn Badgley. Let's do it. The actor's personal life is definitely not as messy, but we really don't know any details about it. We do know that Lucas is rumored to be in a relationship with producer Phoebe Fisher. They worked together in the Euphoria series and have allegedly been dating ever since. But recently, fans also suspected that Gage might be dating the Vanderpump Rules star Katie Maloney, especially as the actress posted a photo of them sharing a bed. However, considering that the two of them have been friends for some time, they were probably just being silly. And we're moving on to the next character, Amy Lee Hickman as Nadia. Isn't it interesting to see how her relationship with Joe is developing on screen? It turns out that the actors also got along pretty well offset. Penn likes to do these like weird little voices and impressions, which, <laughs> which used to really make me laugh. Like it was something like this. <laughs> hey, Zabby! Wow. Just wow. 
I think we all hope to hear more of that. But now let's talk about the actress behind Nadia. Amy Lee became popular due to her roles in the drama Ackley Bridge and the military series Our Girl. She was also in EastEnders, alongside her You co-star, Tilly Keeper. And Amy is actually the one who's dating Shaheen Jafargoli from the same soap opera. The two of them met on the set and started their relationship in 2016. The actors don't talk much about their private life, but they never shy away from appearing together in public. At some point, Shaheen deleted their couple photos from his Instagram, and fans were worried they had broken up. Thankfully, it wasn't the case. Last year, they confirmed that they're still together and went on a romantic getaway to Ibiza. So it looks like the two of them are still going strong. Now let's see what we know about Ed Spilliers as Reese Montrose. You may have seen him as an antagonist in Outlander and as Jimmy Kent in Downton Abbey, and now he plays Joe's new friend in you. In fact, not only did their characters manage to create a bond, but the actors behind them also did in real life. Head shared with People Magazine that he and Penn turned out to have a lot in common. Um, but uh, <laughs> we both have a young family. Uh, we both used to having to be away from them, and I think you know, we, we, had a, we had a similar passion for music, for, for, for literature, for art. For, for both of them missed their wives and kids while filming in London and had lengthy conversations about it. Speaking of a wife and kids, Ed has been married to producer and costume designer Asia Macy for almost a decade, and they have a son and a daughter together. They don't share much about their personal life, but as long as they're happy, we're happy too. And finally, let's talk about Yu's lead actor, Penn Badgley as Joe Goldberg, aka Jonathan Moore. Even before the fourth season came out, he teased that it'll follow a totally new structure. You're not just seeing Joe in a different city. He, it's, it's a different kind of like journey that he's on. It's not easy keeping the audience on its toes if you use the same formula all the time. And the new one certainly made Joe face some serious challenges. He's gone from predator to prey. Uh, so he is the, the hunted hunter. And here's a bit of a tease from Penn Badgley about part two of the new season. After the last episode, what question will we want to ask you? The last episode of, of which part? A part two. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna want to ask, is there is there another season? I think. Wow, that sounds intriguing. Will our favorite serial killer even be alive by the end of the season? After all, we all sympathize with him because, well, that's the reaction the writers want from us. Because we've designed this character to be very charming, and so many people find him charming. Being a totally different person in real life, although equally charming, Penn always tries to make things a bit lighter on the set. Laughing, but I feel like I'm always joking. And I'm always... Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not ever trying to make it heavier than it already is. Um, the story is actually bringing light in. I'm pretty sure that the cast and crew appreciate it. Meanwhile, for us, it's always a pleasure to see Penn's brilliant acting. Prior to you, he became famous due to starring in Gossip Girl, Easy A, and John Tucker Must Die. And here's some info about his personal life. Penn has been in a relationship with singer and doula Domino Kirk since 2014. They tied the knot over five years ago. In fact, they did it twice. Their first wedding ceremony was very small and private, and a few months later, they had a larger celebration of their love. Numerous guests attended, including some celebrity friends, such as Mariska Hargitay, Heidi Klum, and Deborah Messing. These days, Penn and Domino are happy parents to a two-year-old son. In fact, becoming a father made it harder for the actor to play a serial killer. I was having such a light and like joyful experience, yeah. and I still am, you know? And like Joe is like so petrified, he's like so scared. Well, he did a great job anyway, didn't he? If you want to learn more about your favorite TV shows, check out our other videos.